Good Thursday morning, everybody, live and direct from downtown Memphis, Tennessee. I'm meteorologist Austin Onik with a special weather update, continuing to keep you updated on air as well. And if we have uh, any severe thunderstorm warnings for Shelby County or tornado warnings for the rest of the area, we may have to curtail this netcast a little quickly so we can get on air and talk to the rest of our viewers around the Mid-South area to let you know a little bit more about what's going on. We're going to be kind of jumping around this morning. Normally when we do this, we have kind of a nice little pattern and flow for everything to keep you informed as to what's going on. But for this morning, we're going to be kind of doing some hodgepodge weather and putting stuff together as we go along because, again, these storms are moving through the area. So keep it tuned for more as we keep you updated throughout the rest of the day on News Channel 3. Now, again, time being just around 8 o'clock, we have just had a new severe thunderstorm warning issued for the north-central areas of Mississippi County in Arkansas. That's just to the west of I-55, around Blyville, west of there, and all that is heading up into the Missouri Boot Hill. So again, if you're in this location, anywhere within this polygon, this is where you want to probably get. Uh, just go ahead and get into shelter just to be on the safe side because we've got winds out there of 60 miles per hour, and we have had some indications that these thunderstorms north of I-40 are slowly rotating, and that, again, could lend itself to creating tornadoes down toward the surface. We haven't had any yet, and, again, here's hoping that that doesn't happen, but as of right now, that's, again, something you're going to have to play into what you're going to be doing for this morning. Heading out the door with these storms up there and around the Mid-South, need to pay attention to what's going on. We'll help you do that again uh, with News Channel 3 live on air if we get any warnings like that. So far, again, it's been decently quiet. A few severe thunderstorm warnings, and that's all. We did have a tornado warning west of us just a little while ago, but as of right now, nothing huge happening as of the 8 o'clock hour. But uh, We'll be in this again to watch what goes on throughout the course of the rest of the day. So keep it tuned for more on that. Let's get rid of the warnings off here. Let's remind you that, again, we have a tornado watch in effect for all of the News Channel 3 viewing area. That does include Memphis and the metro area in Shelby County right there at the center portion of your screen. If you've never joined us on Weather Overtime before, uh, News Channel 3 covers the better portion of three states to where we cover West Tennessee, Eastern Arkansas, and Northern Mississippi with Memphis, Tennessee right there in the middle. And again, this tornado watch is an area that shows where thunderstorms producing tornadic weather could be possible. It does not mean, a watch does not mean that it's happening right now. It means that it's possible at some point in time from now until the expiration point. So that's what we're looking at at this time to where this will be continuing. Now it's a good possibility that we'll see some of this shaved off in the next couple of hours to where we just have less severe weather west of the river and most of it east of the river, but we'll wait until the National Weather Service in Memphis decides to do that. So for right now, that's what we're looking at for the possibility of more in the way of stronger weather for this morning and less into this afternoon. So if you have plans for later on tonight, that's looking okay. We'll take a look at that forecast coming up here in just a little bit. Let's take a look at Storm Tracker 3S radar right around eastern parts of Shelby County. The I-240 loop right in here to give you some benchmarks. Here's I-40 between the eastern part of the county. Fayette County over here, Shelby County here, Germantown, Collierville. Give you an idea as to where we're looking at for right now. And all of this is, again, lifting its way out of Shelby County. Developed about a couple of hours ago. And we'll continue to see this moving its way out of Shelby County. Occasional lightning strike, not seeing a lot of development with this. But as this is, <coughs> excuse me, within that tornado watch box area, we need to watch all these storms to see what goes on with them. Now, a little bit more lightning taking place from Olive Branch down to just east of Hernando, picking up some areas of some thunderstorms a little bit more intense here in eastern areas of DeSoto County. Uh, excuse me one second here, make certain that wasn't anything specific. Uh, you may hear some beeps and blurps going on in the background there. That's our uh, warning tones to let us know when we're on the air or away from the weather office what's going on. So you might hear some of that happening at various points in time. Good morning to everybody uh, who's checking in for this morning. Appreciate all your notes out there. Drop in your weather uh, reports if you've got those. We'd love to see more about where you're uh, che checking in from and a little bit more about what the weather's doing out there. Most importantly, you need to stay safe for today to watch and see a little bit more about what goes on in the Mid-South as we go throughout the rest of the day. And that, again, is going to be the critical point out there. Now, the good news is 
Uh, so far, we have not had any tornado warnings. And into and around portions of the Mid-South, going to switch over here to our velocity scan, where the colors here can tell you where the storm winds are moving toward and away from the radar site. So that coupled very close together with red and green can indicate where a tornado is forming. Now into and around portions of northeast Arkansas, we don't really see a lot going on at this point. We do see some occasional wind bursts. That is a pretty good signature right there that might indicate a possible tornado warning uh, coming up later on. But the National Weather Service has not been issuing a lot of those for this morning. But west of Steel around this area, in the boot heel, I'd be careful of this to see what happens, especially as that goes toward the Carothersville area. So that's what we're looking at here in velocity scan. When we go back to our normal, what is called reflectivity scan, let me go up to around the boot heel area, that's where those thunderstorms are, again, up into that area. Getting a bit of a comma shape right here, which sometimes can indicate that this whole thing is rotating, and that could, again, be the precursor to a tornado. We don't have any tornado warnings for this at this time, so again, we'll be watching to see uh, what we wind up with out there for right now. Let's uh, check some of the other areas of the Mid-South for right now. Northwest Mississippi between the Tennessee state line, the Mississippi River, and I-55, decently heavy rainfall from Tunica back to around Senatobia. Heavier rain approaching between Clarksdale and Batesville, and again, let's put this into motion so you can see a little bit more about that. These storms, the whole line is moving east at about maybe 40 miles an hour. The storms along that line are making its way to the north and east. So that, again, is going to be tracking its way over toward Oxford, Abbeville, uh, Holly Springs, eventually over toward Tupelo, Pontotoc, Union Counties in that area. And again, these are not severe. We're not seeing any problems with this. We have had no severe thunderstorm warnings within about the last hour for these particular cells. But as it is getting to be more daylight hours, we might see more of that coming up here. And I want to reemphasize at this time that we don't have anything going on in the way of severe weather. Okay, now's not the time to get cranky, computer. Hang on just one second here. Uh, what we're looking at right now, and it looks like they just canceled it for Mississippi County and Arkansas. We've got a severe thunderstorm warning uh, just west of Blytheville. Most of that storm has moved up into the boot heel, so this is no longer a threat, again, uh, to the area. Welcome to everybody who's just checking in. Again, weather overtime, we usually give you a little bit more uh, steady and straightforward information. Today we're kind of jumping around a little bit because of the fact that we have these storms in the area. Time currently is about uh, 11 past 8, and so far, again, things have been decently quiet. We have had no tornado warnings in the Mid-South this morning. Here's hoping it stays that way. I never root for the severe weather. I always would love to see a good thunderstorm, but want to make certain everybody stays safe uh, for most out there for right now. Now, for, again, the rest of the morning, more of this heading on through. Let me put this whole thing into motion so you can see, again, the line of these thunderstorms moving to the east, but the storms along the line are moving their way back toward the northeast. So into around areas of Harrisburg down to about Helena, West Helena. You're not getting too much right now. Clarksdale, Tunica, back to around Olive Branch into the metro area and especially back up into areas north of Dyersburg. That's where we're picking up the heaviest thunderstorms for right now. All of that, this up here, going to be up into western Kentucky within the next hour, probably into around southern Illinois, so that's not a problem for us. We'll be looking for, again, anything forming ahead of this line to be the main problem out there. So this is going to be, again, uh, the possibility of the worst of the worst weather for right now. Never a time for panic. And again, always try to make certain everybody knows more about what's going on out there. And again, the tornado watch issued from earlier will continue until 12 o'clock this afternoon at noon. Uh, hopefully some of this gets canceled and start to see these counties drop off the map within the next hour. But... The Storm Prediction Center uh, not too long ago said that basically the threat continues for the entire area, and that information is a little bit less than an hour old. So if you're in this watch, Memphis and Shelby County included, you need to keep an eye on what's going on. Keep it tuned to the weather experts, and again, we'll keep you updated as to what may be heading your direction. We'll come back to the 
uh, radar and the current weather watches out there in just a little bit. We'll concentrate on the forecast for right now to give you an idea as to what's going on. One final advisory, everybody in the new Channel 3 viewing area under a wind advisory, and that's due, again, to that large, potent storm system that rolled through parts of the country. Matter of fact, this thing is just absolutely monstrously huge. These are the biggest storms on Earth, and again, this thing rotating on through parts of the Midwest, bringing some incredibly powerful winds, blizzard conditions to the Plain States. We're not going to be seeing anything in the way of winter weather out of this, but this whole thing wrapping around, this whole thing is like a gigantic valley in the atmosphere, and the winds are rushing around the center of this thing, trying to fill it back in. You've heard nature hates a vacuum. That's pretty much what this is. It's a low pressure area, and nature's trying to set that back on level keel, trying to level that low pressure area out. But until then, these are the storms that are responsible for blizzards and severe weather, and that's exactly what we're getting right now. So again, this monster storm heading for the Great Lakes could be a lot more snarls up into the Midwest area later on today, so definitely a day to call ahead and check your destination. Temperatures in the Mid-South area back in the upper 60s, close to the lower 70s. They were earlier. They've cooled off a little bit. Take a look at these wind gusts right here. Nearly 50 miles per hour in the Memphis International area. So again, definitely going to be choppy out there, and that's why that wind advisory is in effect. Firm hand on the steering wheel. Watching what goes on down the roadway would be a very good idea just to be on the safe side out there. Let's run some numbers here and give you an idea as to what we're looking at through the rest of the day. This whole line, again, passing through the Mid-South through about News Channel 3 live at 9. And as we go into around lunchtime, it starts to make its way a little further out of the area. But right now we could be seeing, again, the potential for these storms east of the Mississippi sticking around throughout the rest of the afternoon. And again, we could see some more severe weather out there, so I would not be surprised to see another watch covering areas east of the river later on. But so far, that's not the case. Now getting into this afternoon and this evening, drier air starts to chase things out of the area. So we'll be looking for less chance of rainfall out there. Continuing into later on tonight, drier also cooler and also tempering the winds by just a little bit. So it's going to be breezy overnight, not quite as windy as it was this morning. So very good news on that as we go throughout the next couple of days. Now the Storm Prediction Center uh, issuing those forecasts has kind of backpedaled the slight risk category for areas to the east of the Mississippi. This is a brand new forecast, less than an hour old, and it is showing that potential for severe weather here in parts of the area. So again, through this morning into early this afternoon, the next forecast update will be about roughly an hour and 45 minutes away. So we'll bring you that information on social media when it becomes available. But for right now, again, this means an increased chance of severe weather, mainly focusing east of the river. So if you're in Memphis, Jackson, Bolivar, Dyersburg, Corinth, back toward Oxford, Batesville, you need to watch this system as it plows on through to where we may see even more severe weather throughout the rest of the morning into this afternoon. All right, let's run the numbers for the rest of the week and into the weekend. Very mild today. Temperatures back into the mid-70s. Thanks to everybody for joining us uh, this morning. I appreciate all the weather updates. Uh, in the comments section. Keep them coming. If you've got uh, weather reports about what you saw this morning, rain gauge information, how much rain you picked up out there, if you got any damage, we'd love to see uh, more information about that so we can pass it along to our other viewers out there. And again, if you've got any just generic weather reports, temperature, wind speed, direction, drop those into the comments section. And again, we'll love to have you along for that. If you have damaged photos, send those to the National Weather Service through their website at weather.gov slash MEG, or just go to the National Weather Service website, weather.gov, click on the map of the Mid-South, and it'll take you right to that area, and then click on Submit a Storm Report under the menu. That information that you provide can help them, the meteorologist at the National Weather Service, study severe weather and what happened during and after severe weather. So they'll let us know after that. So again, please, and do, please do so if you have uh, that information out there for right now as we go throughout the rest of the morning. Showers and thunderstorms come to an end as we wrap up the day. Much cooler tomorrow. Big temperature difference here. Much below normal in the mid-50s. 
and a cloud-sun mixture tomorrow. Hopefully some more sunshine coming on through, but much nicer, a little cool into this next weekend. Uh, there's our severe weather warning uh, information. Uh, looks like we have canceled a part of the tornado watch. We'll take a look at that coming up here uh, in just a little bit. Rest of the weekend looks pretty good. Again, through St. Patrick's Day, <clears throat> excuse me, on Sunday. It's going to be a little cool starting things off, but looking very close to normal for the early morning hours of St. Patrick's Day. After that, the last full day of winter, next Tuesday, back in the lower 60s, and the first day of spring will start spring late during the day at just about 6 p.m. on Wednesday, so the first full day of spring will be feeling very much like it. Thursday looks nice. Temperatures back close to normal in the lower 60s, and a very slight chance of some showers, last day of winter, first day of spring, but that's it where it comes to any rainfall. The rest of the forecast looking generously dry, and that's something we have not had the chance to say uh, anytime soon. So looking very nice out there, but for today, we've got to keep our eyes on what's going on out there, and we'll help you do that with News Channel 3. So again, stick around for more. Have to talk one quick second. If I can find it back here real quick, I'm scrolling through things off the screen. I'm not trying to ignore you, but my attention's kind of divided here to get the information where I need to go. Uh, again, our podcast, Tornado Alert, Emotional Terror, is available on iTunes. Uh, if you can't get it on iTunes, apparently iTunes has been a little cranky about this uh, podcast, so go to Spotify or just go to WREG.com and you can find out what Tim and Jim think about uh, severe weather in front of the camera so we can talk more about what it looks like from our point of view when we're bringing information to you on air. And a lot of people don't get a chance to actually uh, see that point of view too often. So take a look at that and we'll keep you updated there. National Weather Service has canceled uh, Clay and Greene counties out of the tornado watch. So they are starting to cancel the counties, but that leaves the rest of the viewing area in the threat for, again, that potential severe weather. And we are still monitoring a lot of storms passing through the Mid-South. We're going to be keeping a very close eye on these storms south of Memphis crossing I-55 right now. Some of these could contain some possibly damaging straight-line winds. Haven't seen any warnings for this in quite some time. And then going back to the north, as these storms uh, leave the Mid-South area, we're going to be seeing the possibility of more watches up this direction. So if you're heading up I-55 north of Dyersburg towards New Madrid and into West Kentucky, southern Illinois, you might see some more problems with this uh, in these locations. But in the meantime, any of these storms could have the potential of severe weather. And that's what we want to watch at this time, being ready to go, knowing where your safe place is, getting those batteries in your weather alert radio chain so they're fresh, so you can use them for a long period of time. Do not rely on tornado sirens alone to get severe weather information. Today's houses, today's buildings are much better insulated, and you cannot hear a lot of what goes on outside because we want to keep the cool air in during the summer and the hot air in during the wintertime. Do not depend on the tornado sirens. Have another way, have several ways of getting your warnings, whether it's, again, this little thing that you carry around with you and our News Channel 3 app as well, and keeping in tune, of course, to News Channel 3. We'll keep you advised on that, but relying on tornado sirens could be a fatal mistake if you do it that only, so please keep that in mind. We'll keep you updated on what's going on throughout the rest of the morning, and again, if you're just tuning in and joining us, oh, okay, very good news here. Uh, they've canceled a significantly larger area than what we saw earlier. It looks like Memphis and Shelby County have been lifted from this. Still a good portion of West Tennessee and North Mississippi are included in this, but it looks like Eastern Arkansas minus portions of Mississippi County. All of that has been lifted from Tornado Watch, so that's good news. Uh, this could change again. We could see more watches, different watches coming up, and that's something that we'll watch again here at News Channel 3, so please keep it tuned to the weather experts again for more on that. Uh, any other information? Again, we've got plenty of information on social media, including our forecast, if you missed it here, uh, WREG.com for more information on the 7 to 10 day forecast. I've got to wrap things up here because we've got our 25 minute past update coming up here live on air after Troy Washington gives us a little bit more on time saver traffic. And stay tuned for more again throughout the rest of the morning. If tornado warnings are issued, we will break into programming. We'll get done as soon as we possibly can, but we have a job to do if that happens to keep you safe. So whatever programming we interrupt, we'll try to get that taken care of and back on the air 
If CBS doesn't let us do that, which again, we're not in charge of that, CBS is often in charge of what gets shown and what doesn't. So again, we'll do our best to get that taken care of, but in the meantime, stay with us and we'll keep you updated throughout the rest of the morning. Thanks to everybody for joining us. Stick around for a lot more with News Channel 3 throughout the rest of the morning and throughout the rest of uh, Thursday. Tim Simpson has your forecast coming up later tonight, starting on 1st at 4. Thanks for joining us for Weather Overtime for Thursday morning.